Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforestmagicway.com uh, making this a small video about the USDX index, US dollar index. Um, I have a webinar to, uh, today at 4 o'clock, so I want to get rid of this uh, video, you know, make it now and post it for everyone else. That's a general video. Um, so let's get started. USDX, US dollar index, and uh, I've been tracking this all along. Uh, I'm going to start only from this year, the beginning of this year, from January. So uh, after finishing the up move, this is where we were when I made this chart that we now upside is finished and we're going to drop. Uh, it's all about Elliott wave count. I have other charts showing that, but here I'm not counting, I'm, you know, SNR levels and highs and lows marks. So it's older. as it is, the, the, the chart is very much crowded, right? So uh, the route was that we're going to drop down here to this these two lows, uh, are actually highs, monthly highs, 0129 and 02. 19 and then from there we're gonna go uh, up bounce again and go up to 0698 and then from there we're gonna drop all the way down uh, maybe here or maybe all the way down to you know this 9756 let's see you know but it's just a long way to the, to the downside right maybe this is the one 90 9171 but you know this is the route and it's obviously it's you know this is a weekly chart so doing that is you're talking about almost like a you know, six months eight months ten months a year maybe you know a uh, long way down so what happened slowly and i'll show you that you know this is what my analysis are usd is coming down is equal to usd weakness usd dropping usd the index dropping usd gets weaker and the pair where the USD on the right hand side will always go up, like Euro, USD, Pound, USD, Aussie, USD, Newsy, USD. These pairs will go up. Uh, and the others, where the USD is on the left hand side, like US, USD CAD, USD Franc, USD Yen, they will go down. So you can go take a look what really happens. So, you know, the USD start dropping here, and then you can see that after, after a little while, um, I even make a daily chart when it was coming down here. So I said, well, you know, the first leg is finished, then it was going to go up and then, uh, you know, uh, come down again. So uh, after a little while, look what happened here. Okay. Uh, here. It was coming down here and then it came down all the way and it went up, you know, bounce exactly from 0219. In, in between this band, you know, 0129, 0219, and then it went back to 0698. And from there, it made the turn again. And at that point, I made this daily chart as well that is going to go up here, this point C, and then drop. So what happened to this daily chart? You know, it dr start dropping and then coming down nicely, and it's, it's still coming down. And what about the, that weekly chart? You know, and, and in the meantime, I made another uh, chart which is based on like a harmonic pattern. And uh, when it was the price was here, it came down, it went up 0. C, and then started to drop. I said, this is what it's all about. And, uh, you know, the D point for the harmonic pattern, bad pattern, it is. Uh, you know, the calculation is perfect. Uh, X, A, B, C, D, and then, you know, point B pullback is uh, for the bad pattern. It has to be 50%, which is it. It is now, right? Uh, it is 50%, and then it went back to my favorite line of the same 23.6%, which I always talk about. It's a very, very uh, lucrative uh, trading from C to D, and I love to trade that. Uh, so from C, it starts dropping towards D, and you know this is my final target. What happened to this chart so far as of today is this. It came down here, it's a little wobble here, but nicely coming down and right here i made you know the chart that we're gonna drop here and then you know let me show you this probably see this is the 25th june i said this is again we're making a turn and we're gonna drop here so we are right around here this is my weekly chart see how nicely it is dropping and this is my 29 june this chart is finally here and uh, still there is a room towards my target my target is like this line you know the first target you can see the first target this will be uh, like a, a, a 127 uh, for uh, wave three i mean sorry wave c actually and uh, at 88 percent of 
a bad parent. But what happens in a bad parent? Bad parent usually it's wave three, A, B, C, or one to three, and then followed by small wave four, which may, may, may bounce after hitting this area. We may bounce, go up for wave four, maybe a small triangle, a nasty move, and then drop again to the downside to finish up the final target. So this is uh, uh, our uh, route. Uh, see, this is this is the route actually. This is one, two, three, four, showing the Elliott wave that we're going to drop here, this area for wave three, and then we go back up here for wave four. So so far, where we now, we are at here, 9872, still coming down nicely and waiting for uh, this target. There. So this is how this is what the power of Elliott wave or money pattern. This is the study, and this is what you know, uh, you know my technical. And I have covered. I do cover not only USD but every single uh, index. You know, Euro index, pound index, Aussie index, and yen index. Okay, so I have everything covered. Uh, weekly charts, monthly charts, and showing where we actually going for next weeks and months. And obviously, we're gonna make some waves going down, for example, USD coming down, but it's going to the upside too, right? And for that purpose, for small waves and small counts, I have this chart, my Magic IB system. This is a 40 minute guiding chart, and you can see how the price comes down and that goes up again, comes down a little bit, goes up. But overall, all in all, we are making lower lows and keep coming to the downside. Now see, it was here uh, on June 20, that you went up there and made a very nice solid short setup. This is my short setup. This is my short setup, and this is my short setup, right? So when it's, you have a short setup here and they start dropping, look how nice it dropped. So watching index on a 40-minute chart gives you a clear direction that you know we are in the downtrend. We went up retracement. We are making a short setup, right? This high is always, you know, it, it's also. Uh, you know, it's like a resistance area and then USD start to drop again, will start to drop again and will get weaker. And all of a sudden you have opportunity in Euro Yen, I mean Euro USD, Pound USD, Aussie USD, New USD, and you can pick and choose that which one is going fast to the upside. You just trade that pair or you trade all of them. You go and take a look from June 20, all of these pairs went up. Maybe not the pound, but I think pound also. And look at the Euro USD. Okay, all the USD it went up, uh, and then it was a clear opportunity. Basically, my Euro Aussie chart, uh, uh, you know, also uh, was showing a weekly chart, was showing that you know uh, we're gonna have an up move a long time ago for for several weeks before I said that Euro USD is gonna go up. Why? Because based on this USD weakness. Okay, Euro USD, USD on the right hand side. When it gets weaker, Euro USD will fly. And it's been going up. Okay, so this is how I control the market. This is how I uh, uh, predict the market. And if once you know what, what it is, <coughs> you can see a video. The, uh, yesterday, I put the day before yesterday, I put a video, right, <coughs> on YouTube showing my weekly recap. All the trades that I had, most of 90% trades were. Yen trades. Why? I showed in the video that yen was on the move. Yen was getting weaker big time. And I had that chart and I mentioned that in my previous videos that yen is about to gonna get weaker and all the yen pairs, since the yen is always on the right hand side in each and every pair, all of them is gonna go up, right? So I traded pound yen, I traded franc yen, cad yen, Aussie yen, euro yen. I didn't trade USD yen because USD was also getting weaker. so. Yen getting weaker, USD getting weaker, you go nowhere. But all the other, I traded last week, I traded only the yen pairs and all of them. Just to show that if you catch a move or you do the right, uh, you know, prediction about any index, for example, pound is on the run uh, to the upside, yen is getting weaker, how hard it is to understand that pound yen is going to fly. Go and take a look at it in my website, how many trades I have and how big of these trades I have from, uh, uh, Yet pound yen, 150 pip, 200 pip. Why? Because one currency is getting weaker, the other one is getting strong. That pair is going to move fast. And, you know, pound yen, as it is, we call it a dragon, right? So <laughs> this is the fastest, one of the fastest pair. I think the pound Aussie is faster than that. But, you know, they, they, they're all like Euro Aussie, pound Aussie, pound yen, they, they move really fast, big. 
you know, 200, 250 pip is not a problem. And that's why I love them and, and I trade them. So anyway, this is the USDX, guys, and it is still dropping. It, we have room to go before the fourth wave starts to the upside. Need to be careful when it starts. Uh, you know, this is the speculation, so uh, need to be very careful. Uh, and uh, But, you know, wave three or C, whatever it is, it's not finished yet to the downside, but it will be finished and it could be this week, the coming week. We're starting from today. All right. So uh, once it's finished, we're going to start moving to the upside or maybe fourth wave triangle, which is the nastiest uh, move of all. And uh, you, get, you can get cut and then, uh, you know, lose a lot of money. So if, if USDX uh, drop into the fourth wave triangle type of thing, I'm going to drop trading at, you know, all of those USD pairs and I'll just probably go yen pairs and Aussie pairs or something like that. Okay. And uh, as it is, I, I, I like those pairs more. Uh, so uh, this is what it is. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a, a little bit hint of what the USD is about to do, and uh, just to be careful. And if you like to see other pairs, other uh, indexes, and if you want to get a hold of these charts and the system here, I have. Uh, you know, it's like for euro, for example, euro 40-minute chart. You will see that how nicely it gives. Uh, see it right here, it bounces. Pound, I've been telling that, you know, pound is going to bounce. See, this is my chart that, you know, from here is going to go up, and it did. And a 40-minute chart guided me very nicely. I had this chart that is going to bounce when the price was here. I said we're going to go up, and we went up. So let me quickly show you before I close the, that pound. I, I, I had this 40-minute uh, chart, and it went up, uh, helping me um, – and trading uh, pound Aussie, um, uh, pound yen. Look at that, right? This is the chart, and this is where we are now. See, from right from here, we went up this way. You know, not a straight, but I just marked, you know, straight that you know my target was 56.54. We hit the target, dropped a little bit. We broke the target. We came back, tested it, found support, going to the upside. Okay, so pound is going to continue. I have the pound monthly chart, weekly chart, where the hack it is going, I know. And uh, similarly, pound, uh, I mean, it is pound, but uh, yen, yen index and the chart, you know, I have it. And uh, like I said, if you, you know, want to get involved and, uh, you know, take a look at these charts and uh, ahead of time and make plan ahead of time. That's, that's what the, you know, Actually, the backbone of this uh, business is trading. That, you, know, you should know ahead of time that you know, should expect something. You do your calculation and say, okay, if we go up, what, uh, how far are we going to go, where are we going to go, and what fashion are we going to go? And if you start going on a 40-minute chart, 20-minute chart, make entries, simple as that. And if you, know, if you don't go to the upside, then what? You don't go left, right? You drop. <laughs> so if you drop, if in a certain area hold and you start dropping, then you should be able to know or tell that where you're gonna go down, how far, which way, and uh, you know in, in what fashion, and where the small waves and you know where the entries. All of this. See, this was an entry here. Okay, so this was uh, you know up move was starting. This is a very good sign here, and this is the one. Obviously, this one also, and this one also in the 20 minute chart. But a 40-minute chart entry is worth here. This is the guiding chart, and it guides very well. Okay, it tells you that, okay, pound is bullish, and it's about to move to the upside. Means pound is going to get strong. So you can go and trade all the pound pairs. Pound USD will go up. Pound Yen will go up. Pound Aussie will go up because pound is getting strong, and pound is on the left-hand side. Euro pound will go down because pound is on the right-hand side. And uh, so this is how it is. Uh, this is your USDX. Uh, again, the final look at it, that this is what it is. it has done. I am tracking right from the top that is going to drop and go up and then will come down here. And it is doing that exactly. Okay. So um, you know, this is it for now. Just wanted to show you, update, you know, how the USD is doing. And uh, one final word that, you know, if you want, to get a hold of these charts, indexes, all the indexes, all the individual currencies, and the pairs, monthly charts, weekly charts, and you know, today I have a, a webinar, and Wednesday I do a webinar where I uh, do the analysis, and I show that where each and everything is going, and which pairs should we trade 
long and which are going down and we can only look for short entries okay. and we use our uh, my magic IV system and uh, to make very very precise entries and which you can go on you know on my website and see how beautiful they are okay so this is it for now thanks for watching and have a great day